Good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday, August 2nd. My, like, face right now, like, looks kind of crazy. And so does my hair because it's been raining. So my hair is super frizzy. But we're just going to try to ignore that. And right now, I'm going to do some journaling. Because it's August 2nd, I did all my, like, August goals. But I want to do, like, kind of a recap of July. Um, because I think it's just kind of good to, like, reflect on things. So I found, um, um, that was weird. I found, like, a good kind of prompt for that. So it's like, what did I learn this past month? What did I accomplish? What surprised me? What day do I remember the most? Who played a big role this past month? What was my best and worst moment? What did I wish I'd done differently? What did I wish I started doing? What did I stop doing? And what goals do I want to achieve next month? So um, I'm going to do sit and do that and like try and take some time to think about that because I think it's important to kind of, I don't know, like reflect on your past, learn from it. Maybe you liked something and like bring that into the next month. Even though I already made my August goals, I still want to reflect on July. And it'll be good to look back on, like, in a little while I can read what I wrote and be like, okay, I fixed that, or, oh, I remember that, you know? So, I'm gonna do that. Just checking back in. I like showered and everything. Oh yeah, I showed you my lunch. And then it was raining, but then the sun came out. So I like put on a bathing suit and like ran outside. And I just sat outside for a little while. And now I'm going to get some work done. I have to edit a vlog and do some work for my nutrition job. Um, I've been watching Emma McDonald like all morning. I'm in a phase. I go through phases with YouTubers. Let me know if you're like that as well. But um, I haven't watched her in like a very long time. So I just kind of wanted to catch up with her life. So yeah, I'm just going to do some YouTube work. Um, I have like all the windows open here so that it feels like I'm outside. But I am I can still do work. And it's absolutely gorgeous weather. Which is fabulous. <laughs> I'm sitting outside it's just a little later in the day and I just wanted to kind of chit chat about like I think I mentioned in my last vlog that I'm kind of changing the way I'm eating um, to go back to what makes like my body feel good and just want to do a little update it's already been amazing like I actually wake up and have energy again and I can actually do things throughout the entire day and I don't feel like a raging bitch honestly um, and this summer has been really hard like to be really honest it's been really difficult like I have not felt like myself at all um, and I think all of that has to come down to my stomach and the way I was feeling um, by the way, excuse my appearance, I'm having, like, I'm just kind of having one of those days and those, like, weeks. It's the week before my time of the month, so I just, like, look in the mirror and I just feel so ugly and blah, blah, blah. That's kind of what sparked this as well as because I've just been listening to a lot of podcasts and, like, fitness and health people and, like... I think I just got so caught up in trying to just be, like, the fittest that I can be. Callum was watching me film this, and he texted me and said, tell them I said hello, so he says hello. Say hi! I did. Hey! Go away. This is for cool kids only. 
Anyways, to get back to what I was saying, I've just been listening to a lot of podcasts the past, like, few weeks, um, just talking about health and fitness, and I got so caught up in just trying to always, like, I, I lost sight of the fact that it was my fitness journey. I, like, was trying to fit into somebody else's fitness journey or the way the media, like, says that you have to be fit. Um, you know, working out as many days of the week as you possibly can, even if your body is, like, mentally and physically exhausted. Working out just because you think it'll give you the goals that you want to look like and not actually working out because it's what you love to do. And same with food, eating because you think it's going to make you look a certain way rather than eating to satisfy your body. And like I just like, Calum and I were talking about this yesterday and I was reflecting on like the last, I would say since November, I like never get sick. Like the last four years I like never got sick. And I have been sick, like really sick, like bedridden sick. How many times can I say sick? Uh, five major times where, like, I'm out for a week. Um, like, five times since November. Which is unreal for me. Like, I never got sick. And, like, I'm sick now and it, like, never left me. And it was weird because when I got sick this last time and I was, like, vomiting and I was sitting in bed, like, just so miserable. And I was, like, I genuinely feel like this is my body saying, like, that's enough. Like, I've been forcing myself to eat these foods and do these workouts that I don't enjoy because they worked for me at one point. And I think I just have to, like, I think this is also part of growing up. It's, like, my body's changing and my metabolism's changing. And, like, I'm not always going to enjoy what I might have enjoyed last summer. I'm not going to enjoy what I enjoy to do this summer in six months. Like fitness and health is a journey and I think I was just trying to like get myself to an end goal and then eat and train the way I enjoy which is so wrong it's so wrong and I don't know I've just been really struggling with like body image and confidence and all that stuff and like why I just don't get why I let that like control my mood for everything and like there would be times that I would let that decide if I was going to go out and hang out with my friends depending on how skinny I felt or how like pretty I felt that day and it's like why am I missing out on like those memories that when I'm like 30, 40, 50, 60 I'm going to look back on and like they're going to make me feel so much joy and I'm not going to be like oh I, that was a fun night because I felt so skinny no and I was watching one of Emma McDonald's Q&A's earlier and like everybody was asking her if she got a boob job and she's like no I just had an eating disorder never ate and then I started eating food and now like my boobs grew because like my, her hormones were now in check um, she was at a healthy weight like and sometimes I'll like catch myself looking back on pictures of me and I'm like oh, I was so tiny, like, I was there, and I lost it, and I'm like, no, you never ate. Like, I definitely want to do a video on my fitness journey and everything, because, like, it was so unhealthy, but you, and you know it, but you still look back on pictures, and your, your brain kind of, like, questions you, like, should I go back into those ways? And it's like, no, like, I, I genuinely still have to tell myself, like, eat dinner, eat a lunch. Like, it's literally one of my August goals is to eat three balanced meals per day because otherwise I won't. And I'll think, like, oh, a rice cake and peanut butter is good enough for dinner. Like, and no, it's not. Like, I work out a lot and, like, you need to feel your body. And I was only eating, like, a granola bar and peanut butter a day. And then I would eat egg whites for dinner. And, like, yeah, I was skinny because I wasn't eating at all. And then I would work out for an hour, and, like, I don't know how I did that. I feel like I'm just entering, like, the the wellness era of my life. Like, I think these next, like, five years are truly going to be just about wellness, mental health, mental strength, and just making, like, my soul happy and not focusing on what I should be doing or what social media deems as, like, 
fit and healthy bodies. Like, everybody has different bodies. Everybody's body reacts to different diets and different exercises. And I, I feel like I have found a good mixture for my workouts. So I'm really, I know what works for me and I know what makes me happy. It's just the diet that was kind of throwing me off because I've tried so many different diets and haven't found one that satisfies like my cravings and my, the food I like to eat and also something where I am like okay with my body. And I feel like I'm about to hit it. Like I feel like I'm about to find my perfect happiness level if that makes sense. I don't know, I'm kind of going on a rant. But it's just like, it hit me again today because again, I think my time of the month is coming and I like, I was like, oh, I just look so chubby and I don't look pretty. And then I was like, who cares? Like it literally made me not want to do anything all day. I didn't do anything pretty much unless it was like send an email. Like, and it just makes me sad that like sometimes I get like this or that like, girls get like this I mean I know guys get like it too but just speaking from what I know like a female's perspective or the pressures that we feel like to always look and act a certain way oh and like yesterday we went to I don't even know if I mentioned this we went to like the Tinnahili show so it was like a big kind of like festival like at home like our rib fest or the sunset fest like that's kind of what it would be like or the McHenry County Fair and there was such good foods there and like Irish foods and snacks and companies that I've never tried and I was starving <clears throat> but I remember like I looked around and I was like okay everything is either fried it's red meat it's a lot of calories or it's ice cream it's cakes and I was like no like I'll just wait to eat till we get home but then I was so hungry I was hangry and it ruined the experience. And then I got in the car and I was like, I really just let like those negative thoughts ruin one of my last like Irish experiences here for the summer. And I was like, I'm so upset with myself that I let myself do that. But then I have to remember like, I'm still recovering. Like it's not just gonna be, oh, you're fixed. And I feel like I have been doing better, like much better, like, you know, little things like small wins for myself and in my brain that I've been noticing but still I have some work to do um but I think I will get there eventually I just kind of wanted to chit chat because it's just something I have been struggling with and like I can't really hide it and talking about it makes me feel better I'm like a very once I talk out an issue, like, usually I feel better about it. So I just wanted to, like, chit-chat about it. And I'm sure plenty of other people experience this and go through this as well. So, yeah. With that being said, I think what I'm craving right now are those cookie dough bars that I made in the vlog. I think that I just posted. Um, but I kind of want to make them, like, brownies. So... In a little while, I'm gonna go inside and make those and enjoy them and not worry about how many calories I burned versus consumed today. So if you want some good people that discuss this, Emma McDonald's Q&A and like some of her recent videos where she talks about that are actually really good. Um, Cause like, I think she's gorgeous. And she even said like, I struggle with my body and stuff. And I was like, oh wow, like a girl that I look up to or like love her body she's self-conscious about it so it kind of made me feel better sammy clark is another really good one just about wellness in general she's literally amazing like whenever i'm feeling low i put her on or listen to her or do something related to her and i feel instantly better because she's just so positive she's my goals um and there was another one Brittany lupton is really good if you're in like the fitness industry and that's your struggle she's really good about like not tracking just being mentally like conscious of what you're putting in your body healthy foods and exercise love her as well she has great advice sarah's day same thing all those people are really great have been really focusing on following people and listening to people that are helping me with this not hindering me like i've unfollowed people on instagram the last like two weeks because i'm like you know what you're adding to my negative 
feelings about myself. So I would also really recommend doing that if you also feel like you're struggling and just trying to find more people that are focusing on wellness and how your body feels rather than just like being the skinniest and tiniest prettiest version of yourself because it's just so much pressure to put on yourself for your entire life. I don't know. And eventually when I'm a mom, I don't ever want to put those feelings on my children. And I want them to see me eat and see me enjoy life and not worry and stress about it. Like, I never want my kids to go through what I have went through. That's a story for another time. I will definitely do that video soon, either in just like a fun little vlog or like just its own video, just talking about all of that, my fitness journey, all of that. So... So I made like the brownie bars, but I made some of them into balls. Like, sorry, the lighting is so weird. I made some of them into balls. Um, just to have like a quick little protein ball snack and this is what they look like. And I like rolled them in cocoa powder. Ooh, I don't want them to fall. And we're gonna taste test them. Who's gonna hate these? Mm. That's really good. Let's check on the bars. These I think are gonna set nice. This is what they look like. I think these will set better than the other cookie dough bars for sure. Because like, I'm a doctor, but I think there's plenty of supplements that everyone should just have. Is that the jar? Um, um.